This is how we turn this dirt pile into this landscape masterpiece in 48 hours. What are we doing this morning? Making, uh, making it happen. We are unloading Canadian outcropping, I think is what it's called. Well, we got a lot of dirt we got to contain. We're trying to create a landscape inside of a building that's flat, so. to set this guy off. Every little thing's gonna be all right. Okay. <laughs> so back behind me, you'll see we're putting plywood up to support the walls because we got about 300 yards of dirt being pushed back against it. Just want to make sure we're not going to damage any of the property here. So behind me here we got uh, I think 12 18 foot Norway spruce uh, from our tree farm out in Portland, Michigan. Uh, they're to the point where they're uh, too tall or too big of a trunk to move. So what we do, we cut them down, we branch them about four feet up, so cut off all the branches, and then we stick them in uh, our display here at the home show. So it really puts a nice background, nice evergreens in our home show. So it's about 12.45 now. We're making what feels like good progress. We got about half our walls in, all of our big evergreens in. We're really just, you know, marking stuff out, making sure all this stuff fits together. It's a home show, you know, it's not a perfect design. There's a lot of moving parts. So we're just kind of adjusting on the fly, marking out the pergola, Jesse's moving some dirt, we're making good progress. o'clock update we got our walls going in we got uh, our pond to find and we're finishing up the stairs so trees are in we should be having patios done tonight so ideally that's our plan it's four o'clock we'll let you know at eight
Tuesday morning. We are at the home show again, getting set up. We got a lot of our stairs in, our wall in, our water feature is nearly in, and our patio up top is done. So moving rocks in and we're gonna get it done. so we really can't get too many more trucks in here. Right now we're just gonna mulch this behind us uh, so that people can get in here and we'll work, worry about over there later. Lunchtime update, everybody just ate. We are getting the rest of the planting done on this side, water, everything on the other side behind Zach is already completed pretty much. Uh, we got a few little things to wrap up and then we are good to go. So uh, we're getting pretty close, doing pretty, pretty good I think. So we'll keep working and getting her done. five o'clock on day two. We're doing a lot of the uh, miscellaneous stuff, landscape lighting, tweaking our water features, kind of putting some nice touches on our landscape. We still got to get bulbs in here and landscape the other side, but that's going to go pretty quick. We're pretty comfortable with where we're at right now. It's Wednesday morning now. We got all of our big stuff in. We're just doing some final touch-ups. We're gonna put bulbs in today, tweak some landscape lights. It's really gonna be a light day for everybody here. Just kind of, you know, making it look good for the clients. That's all it's about today. Yeah, the original I was thinking we'd 
around this up in here. This. It is Wednesday at two o'clock, wrapping up for the day, a little bit of cleaning, and we're out of here. So display is done, final walkthrough. Luke will do tomorrow, and we will catch you on the full video. Hey guys, it's Luke here with Foxcape. So we're at the Lansing Home and Garden Show 2024. We're extremely proud of our work here, and we look forward to showing you guys some of the key elements. All of our booth is built out of natural stone outcropping. This is Canadian limestone, really thick. We got the stairs out of it, got the walls out of it. We love to use this stuff in our actual landscapes. Once you get to the top of this staircase, you cross over the stream. This stream, the water source, is actually coming out of the bottom of our skid steer spade. We just wanted a little bit of a unique water source, a good focal point. Another main focal point of our booth on this upper patio is this bar. This walnut wood was coated to bring out the natural wood tones in the wood and then we've got water coming out of these beer taps these are all michigan beers we kind of have a michigan theme going on in our display another water feature is right behind me we got this water screen coming off of the top of the pergola there's four main water features here the skid steer spade the bar this water screen and then across one more step we just have a little bubbler rock all feeding down there into the pond as we cross through our booth we come down this large staircase down to one of our other patios where we cut in the Great Lakes. Like I said, we've got a Michigan theme going on. We took a couple days to really cut this out and bring out the Michigan pride to everybody that comes to the show. We've got a few other minor thought out elements that really set off our display. One of those would be Phillips Hue landscape lighting placed throughout. We got lights going up on the trees, lights on the water features. We got a light up there in the bar. We also have bulbs, some spring bulbs to really add a pop of color to the landscape. And we took some time to really force blooms on plants. We put them in the greenhouse early. So we got a red bud in bloom, snow fountain weeping cherry in bloom, forsythia in bloom. This stuff doesn't bloom for another three or four weeks, but by putting it in the greenhouse early, we're able to bring some springtime uh, attraction to our display. I wanna give a thank you to you for checking out our booth. A thank you to our team for setting this up. And we look forward to meeting the community here at the show. Oh,